Caro can defense, exchange variation, 3, CXD54.BD3 and C65.C3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. X5 opens up the center, white can now develop the light squared bishop to d3, where it will attack black's king side. Cx d5 recaptures the pawn on d5 and frees the knight to advance on the c6 square. Bd3 develops the bishop to an active diagonal that controls the center and attacks h7. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the pawn on d4 and controls the e5 square. C3 defends the d4 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. It is the last book move. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. It's alright. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. That falls flat. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is quite good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. A knight could be pinned by this. It is ideal. 
This allows the knight to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to pin a knight. It is best. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. Backs off. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This defeats a threat and captures a knight. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a queen. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. That's good. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is quite good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. This is the strongest option. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better.